Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another short online yoga practice. This class has been condensed into about 10 minutes for those of you that are super short on time, but still want to get your body moving and still want to get onto your mat today. So we're just going to get straight into it. Thank you so much for taking the time for yourself today. Namaste. Okay, so we're going to start seated in our comfortable position. You can have your legs crossed, you can sit on your shins or on a block. Just allow your shoulders to soften away from the ears and try to find the length in the spine and the connection to the sound the sensation of your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose, finding the gentle restriction to the back of the throat as we exhale. Maybe just taking a moment to cleanse yourself of any negative thoughts, emotions, anything we've been gripping or holding on to throughout our day, just giving ourselves a moment to consciously release that from our systems. And I invite you in this space to set yourself a brand new intention for your day to day, cultivating maybe a sense of calm, of grounding, of gratitude, or anything in particular you've been working with today that you'd like to reaffirm or enhance today through your practice. So just taking one last deep breath in. Deep breath out. Beautiful. Bringing the palms together at the heart center and gently blinking the eyes open. Namaste. Welcome. So we're going to start today actually in a downward facing dog. So if you're in your uh, cross legs position, you could just roll over your shins, come into all fours. Spread the fingers nice and wide as we, keeping a bend in the knees, begin to lift the hips up high. Ground evenly through all five fingertips of each hand. Grounding through all five knuckles of each hand. Spiraling the elbow creases forwards, the elbow points back to find a rotation in the shoulders, freeing up space around the neck. Let the back of the head become heavy as we release the space through the shoulders, the back of the neck. And then over time, maybe beginning to pedal the heels down towards the floor, either one at a time or gently pulsing them both down to release through the hamstrings, the calves, noticing how we're feeling today in the backs of the legs. Holding for one more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Looking forwards to the space between the hands, keeping the bend in the knees, we're gonna to walk to our ragdoll. So ragdoll, the feet are hips distance apart or even wider. Maintain a generous bend to the knees as we take opposite hand to opposite elbow overhead and maybe begin to sway from side to side, feeling the distribution of weight between both feet, gently opening up through the entire back body, shoulders soft, back of the neck is soft. Gently opening up through the hamstrings without forcing ourselves down. Holding for one last deep breath in. Now as we exhale, we're gonna bring the hands to the backs of the calves, the backs of the ankles, or the backs of the heels. Maybe from there we begin to heel toe the feet a little bit closer together as we begin to transition into our forward fold. So releasing the chin towards the shin, the crown of the head down, hugging those elbows into the space behind the legs. Really sandwich the belly to the thighs. Notice this deepens the sensation into the hamstrings. Feel the softness in the back body, feel the softness in the back of the neck, but visualize those sit bones reaching up towards the sky as we ground down evenly through both feet. Feel the gentle energetic lift through the legs as we find the rooting sensation through the toes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. As we inhale, we're gonna either roll up the spine or if you want more of an energetic effect, we're gonna come up with a flat back, reaching the arms out to the side and then reach the arms up towards the sky as we look towards the thumbs. As we exhale, release the arms down by the side. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Step the right foot to the side of the mat, about three feet and bring the arms out to a capital T, taking a breath in. And then as we exhale, we turn the right toes to the short edge of the mat, left toes in 10 degrees. As we reach those right fingertips towards the back of the mat, bring the right hand to the thigh, left hand towards the sky. If you're feeling a bit more open, maybe bring the hand towards the shin, the ankle, the toe, or rest the fingertips towards the outside of the right foot. Maybe looking up towards that left arm as if someone is pulling that left arm up towards the sky. Feel the length in the right side waist, the right side ribs as we bump the pelvis over towards the left. Keep a softness in the back of the right knee. 
for one last deep breath in. Deep breath out. As we inhale, look down towards the right big toes, soft bend in the right knee as we come all the way up, right toes in. As we exhale, left toes face the short edge of the mat. We're gonna switch sides now. So the left hand reaches towards the left. Reach, 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 reach. And then bring the left hand towards the thigh, right hand towards the sky as we become comfortable here. Maybe we bring the left hand towards the shin, the ankle, the peace fingers towards the big toes, or you can rest your fingertips towards the outside of the foot. Maintain your connection to the breath. If you feel your mind beginning to drift, bring it back to the intention that you set yourself. Anchor yourself in the moment. One last deep breath in. Exhale fully. As we inhale, look down towards the left big toe. Generous bend to the left knee as we come all the way up, left toes in, pivoting now. So the right toes once again face the back of the mat, left toes in 10 degrees. We can keep the hands to the waist or for more of an expansion in the shoulders. Bring the arms out to the side and then internally rotate so the thumbs face down. Bring the hands behind the back, taking reverse prayer if you can, palms of the hands touching, or take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Take a breath in. As we exhale, we hinge forward over that right leg. We begin to release down, releasing the chin towards the shin, lengthening over that right leg, feeling the stretch in the right hamstring as we ground through the right big toe. Maintain the smoothness to the breath, maintain the grounding in the feet, work from the roots up. So can you place any more awareness to the grounding sensation in the feet as we rise the energy up through the body, lifting through the elbows, finding the space in the chest. On your next inhalation, soft bend to the right knee as we come all the way back up, pivot. So the right toe is now in 10 degrees, 45 degrees. Bring the left toes to face the short edge of the mat, the front of the mat as we exhale. Taking again another breath in. As we exhale, we hinge forward from the hips, bring the chin towards the left shin as we look forwards towards the left big toe. Really grounding through the foot, <laughs> the standing foot, really pressing through the big toe on the left foot and looking forwards towards the big toe, releasing the chin towards the shin. Feel the length over the leg as opposed to how far down you go. Keep rising through those elbows to feel the stretch in the chest. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. As we inhale, soft bend to the left knee as we come all the way back up through standing. Release the bind of the hands as we step the right foot to meet the left at the front of the mat. As we breathe in, we reach the arms up towards the sky. As we breathe out, we fold, bringing the hands towards the thighs, the shins or the floor. As we inhale, halfway lift, look up. As we exhale, step, hop or float, high to low plank or down onto the belly. As we inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog, take this softly, our first back bend. And as we exhale, downward facing dog, take a breath in, take a breath out. As we inhale, step the right foot forward to the space between the hands. Spin that back heel down at about 45 degrees as we reach the right fingertips up overhead for warrior one. Now, if there's too much in that back knee, keep that left heel lifted. Don't worry too much about squaring the hips, but try to bring those left ribs forward, right ribs back, maybe looking up towards the thumbs. On your next inhalation, pressing through the right heel, straighten the right leg, pivot over the left leg as we hinge into the left knee, bringing the left thigh parallel with the floor. Once again, grounding that back foot at 45 degrees or keep that back heel lifted, finding a steady gaze point. Breathe as smoothly as you can. One last deep breath in. As we exhale, open the arms into warrior two, look towards the middle finger of the left hand. Breathing fully into the ribs. If you feel your mind beginning to wander, bring yourself back to your intention. As we inhale, pressing through the uh, left heel, back to center. Exhale, warrior two over the right leg. Look towards the middle finger of the right hand. Shoulder soft. Squaring those ribs, those hips to the long edge of the mat. One last deep breath in. As we exhale, we pinwheel both arms to either side of the right foot. As we breathe in, press through the hands to lift up to high plank. As we exhale, lower down. Inhale, back bend, baby cobra or upward facing dog. 
Exhaling, pressing back into downward facing dog. Drop to the shins. Come to a child's pose. Rest. Feel the softness in the back body. Feel the energy circulating throughout your entire being. Notice the restriction you may have in the breath as the heart rate increases and try to breathe fully into that sensation. If you feel your mind beginning to drift, gently bring it back to your intention. Feel your intention drawing in with each inhalation and each exhalation. Slowly walking the hands back up, coming into a seated position with either the legs crossed or sitting up on your shins. Bring the palms together at the heart center. Thank yourself for showing up for your short practice this morning. Remember that just taking a little bit of time is so much better than skipping your practice completely. It's much better to do 10 minutes every day compared to doing an hour once a week. So congratulate yourself for showing up. Bring that intention back into the forefront of your mind. Take a breath in. Take a breath out, softly closing the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you go forward, I wish you peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. Namaste.